Hey guys, I'm Ozia, and welcome to today's episode. We're going to have a start at factorization today. We're going to uh, start by generating some steam power through factorization, and we're going to um, basically create a battery to store the power, and we're also going to use that power in a, uh, in a heater so we can essentially smelt stuff with the power. Um, and let's get cracking. Okay, that's the first thing. You're going to need a steam boiler. So it's pretty much just a cup of iron and iron bars, it's pretty simple. And what you want to do is, is you want to place it above water, preferably a infinite source of water because it draws water up in, into it. Okay, let's grab those stone, I mean cobblestone. Um, certain mods are able to extract the water out of it, so they do actually work like a aqueous accumulators if you can find the right pipe that'll pull it out. Now if you've got rotary craft, um, the uh, fluid pipes, I believe, or the liquid pipes, what I can't remember what they're called right now, but the rotary craft pipes are capable of pulling water out of them. Um, so you can use them as a, like a, a water source, a really cheap water source. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is make some mirrors. Mirrors are pretty much a glass pane with quite a bit of silver. Now this mod uses a bit, quite a bit of silver and quite a bit of lead. Um, that's all right because uh, later on when you get into the ore, proce ore processing side um, when you are processing silver and lead you do get extra amounts of vice versa each one so yeah well, I'm supposed to make that okay like that get myself eight mirrors and essentially what these mirrors do is you place them down on the ground and if they're within range and they've got a line of sight to the steam boiler they will direct themselves towards the steam boiler and one more like that and now the steam boiler essentially takes the water in it gets heated up by uh, the daytime the sun the sun does it not the daytime and at the top you can see there's an opening um, you can pipe the steam juice at the top now you can actually put two of these boilers on top of one another. In fact, you can put as many as you want on top of each other. And so you can get uh, multiple layers of mirrors and create more steam if you feel like it. Okay, so on to the next bit. The next part is actually making the battery. So it's just four lead, four iron and sulfuric acid. And it's, it's pretty easy to make sulfuric acid. Um, generally it's just two gunpowder, one piece of coal and uh, I forgot what is it? and water of course yes just a bottle of water and just gonna make a battery now I've actually made two batteries for this because uh, this recipe here for the next part a motor which you generally will make uh, quite a few within factorization does require a battery and when you first make them they're 100% charged and so when you put this into a recipe and you pull the motor out you still get your battery but 40% charge has been used so uh, yep We'll use a battery later on. And then the next one is a, I forgot what it's called, um, we'll see in just a moment. You can basically get the battery that you've, uh, not the battery, the motor you've just created, put it in here, put it in with a pressurizer, two glass panes, iron bars, some lead, and you get a steam turbine. So this is what turns the uh, steam into um, basically the, what they refer to as charge or power. And um, yeah, so next thing, actually, first of all, let's um, oh yep, let's just set these things up. So I'm gonna set it up right there, and I'm gonna use a fluid pipe. So you can use any kind of fluid pipe really. Um, if I'm just using Buildcraft because it, it will automatically output the steam, which is quite fine. Just input it into the turbine, and as you can see, it starts spinning up and it's generating power and so now we need to extract the power out of it so you use these lead wires it's pretty simple it's three lead let's get a couple of those and just place it on what's that doing there move that later bring it all the way over here and as you can see they can go up walls and so forth let's just do that for the time being okay and now on to our furnace heater which is pretty simple uh, it's some insulated coils. They're pretty easy to make. They're actually eight pieces of lead surrounding one piece of um, clay or a, a block of clay, I should say. 
And let's grab that. And before we go do anything with that, we're gonna make a charge meter. So it's essentially like a multimeter. It tells you how much charge or power you've got. Uh, you know, sign, stick, iron, two lead. Pretty simple as well. Chuck that in the bottom. Get the furnace heater. And what we're gonna do is chuck the furnace heater. Uh, should we chuck it there? Yep, and as you can see, it lights up. So it's actually getting charged. We can right click with the charge meter. It says charge 61. And you can see over here is a charge of 64 as well. So basically the charge is kept along the system. The wires have a charge as well. And as you can see, um, this thing does produce a little bit of steam. Uh, more mirrors you have, the more steam it produces. There is a calorimetric burner you can use. Uh, and you put next to the boiler, we'll make that in a, a later episode where you can actually convert basically food into energy. But anyway, so now we've got this furnace heater. Furnace here is pretty simple. Place a, a furnace next to it and basically put what you want in the cook and it cooks it. And as you can see, it does use up charge, which we haven't got much of at the moment, but it is cooking away. And now we've got charcoal. So that's the furnace heater. Um, the furnace heater is also used later on, which will show when we make the crystallizer and the slag furnace in the next episodes. Um, for the next episode, we're going to be uh, delving into the ore processing of factorization, which includes um, pretty simple ore doubling and what's uh, not not exactly tripling, but close to it. Um, it's basically fifty percent chance of getting extra stuff. So basically, I'd say two and a half times ore processing. We'll do that in the next episode. So make sure you, sure you subscribe. Check that out. And um, until next time, guys. Ready.